Hello everyone, welcome to Tablet Tutor channel. In this video, I will explain how to calculate percentage difference. So, in this present video, we are showing sum of sales by subcategory and we are showing the data for current week. So, our requirement is to calculate the percentage difference from the current from the first column. For example, so when the first column is empty, that is null. We should consider the immediate non-null value okay in this case for axer if we are going to find the percentage difference so the starting value is uh, present on 11 7 there is no value on 10 7 so as this is the first value we cannot find the difference from the uh, 10 7 because 11 7 is the first value so we will get zero here so and if we go to 14 7 the next immediate value present is 1 4 1 to get the percentage difference on this date so we should find the difference from um, actual requirement is to get the difference from the first column but as there is no value present in the first column we should consider second value that is uh, 1420 so we should find the difference from 141 minus 1420 divided by 1420 so I hope you are, um, you are clear with the requirement. So let me explain how do we calculate the percentage difference. So what is percentage difference? Current value. So current value minus previous value okay, divided by previous value so this calculation will give you the percentage difference so i will explain one more example considering the appliances row so here the current value is if you consider the current date 40 to current value 42 so previous value there is no previous value so we should consider it as a zero so and the previous value is not there we will take it as a zero so we don't get any percentage difference for the first column okay if we go to the next date 11 7 11 7 so the current value is 168 so what we should calculate 168 minus 42 divided by 42 so this will give you the percentage difference on 11 7 Okay, similarly, um, if we go to the next row art, so there is no value present in the first column and the second column 11, 7, there is a value. So since it is the first value, we will get 0. And if we go to 14, 7, so our requirement is to get the percentage difference that is 85 minus. So actual requirement is to get the difference from the first uh, first column so as there is no value there we should consider the next column next immediate available value that is 30 divided by so divided by previous value 30 so so this is our requirement okay let me write the calculation now So I'm going to keep this uh, view as it is and then duplicate the sheet right click duplicate so that we can uh, test the output. Let me create one uh, calculated field. I'm going to name the calculation as percentage difference. So before uh, writing the entire calculation I will explain in step by step first we need to find the index of the values present in this view for that I uh, let me write index and then click ok let me drag this calculation to the text and see the output ok so if you see the output so our uh, table calculation is performing table across so which means 1 2 3 4 7 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 
so if you can see the table calculation edit table calculation this table calculation is performing table across so you will get um, the index for every row the horizontal manner 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 if you take table down you will get the index uh, column wise 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that so we, our requirement is to get the difference uh, for each row so I am taking table across and then click OK so this is our requirement 1 2 3 4 next we need to get the index position only um, at the non-null values for that I am going to add one, one if condition if is null sum of sales so I'm going to add not condition here so that we get the index only when there is a value then index end okay let me see the output apply so if you see we are getting index only where the value is present this this position is 2 here we are getting the value and the position 2 next so this value should repeat everywhere for the entire row for that I am going to uh, write a window minimum function which returns the minimum value present in this row for example in the min here the minimum value is 2 here the minimum value is 1 which means the value is present at the index position 1 itself here the value present at the second position but there is no value at the first position window minimum of okay so let me see the output click apply so we can see the minimum value is repeating everywhere so from this calculation we can understand that the value the position where the first value is present in the given row so in this row the first value is present at the sixth position that is 664 in the fastness row the first value is present at the fifth position okay likewise if you can see for the labels the first value is present in the second position okay so this one calculation will give you the value position of value where the first value is present so that's why I'm going to rename the calculation as first position value okay and then click OK next we need to learn about lookup calculation let me name the calculation as percentage different so next we are going to use uh, lookup function so lookup function returns the value based on the position that you given based on the offset value that you given in the calculation you give in the calculation for example so it returns the value of the given expression in a specified target row specified as related to offset from the current row so if you give minus 1 as the offset it will give you the value present uh, before the current value if you give plus 1 it will give you the output it will give you the value present in the next column okay uh, let me so before that I will remove the first position value just to explain the lookup function here I will just uh, give sum of sales comma 1 so let's see the output so that you can understand click apply so let me drag this calculation to the text if you see so the percentage difference value we are seeing is 1420 because you have given the position 1 it is returning the value next column in the next column and our table calculation is performing across table across so here we are getting 141 this 141 is is the value present in the next column 141 okay if you give minus 1 it will display 
the previous value in the current row so there is no previous value here so you will not get any value 1420 is the current row there is no previous value so you are not seeing any value here the value is null but you have given the offset minus 1 so you are seeing the present previous value in the current row similarly i am going to give the offset as the calculation that we have written first position value let me remove minus 1 click apply okay So the first position value is returning the next value so we have to make some change in the first position value calculation let me drag first position value here so right click edit okay so if you subtract the current index from this calculation you will see the output will be zero where the first value present in the current row click apply and then so if you can see wherever the first value present in the current row so that value will return zero zero so this is the first value present in this row so you are seeing zero and 30 is the first value present in this row so you are seeing the zero from this first position calculation so similarly like this um, we can uh, we have clearly find out the position where the first value is present in the current row okay let me drag percentage difference calculation again to the text okay right click and edit okay now we need to find the percentage difference so this calculation is returning the previous value so 141 consider this uh, this position for the calculation so 141 is the current value so we need to find the percentage difference from the first column value so the first column value is there is no value here sum of sales there is no value 0 so we are taking the second position value 1420 we need to take 1420 so our calculation is returning 1420 okay now what we are going to do we will subtract sum of sales minus this value so what is doing 141 minus 1420 if you click apply you can see the difference so the difference is 1279 okay now we need to divide this value by previous value that is look up sum of sales this part okay so i'm adding abs function so what is abs function you can just click here to read returns absolute value of the given number if it is negative then it will return the positive number and then click apply okay and then click okay to change the format right click go to format and choose the number format to percentage and select the desired percentage decimal value so let's test the output of this calculation so here uh, we have 41.90 so 41.90 which is the current value minus so previous value here in this case is 1420 as the first value is empty we are taking the immediate non null value 1420.05 1420.5 is equal to this one and we need to divide it by previous value so divided by 1420 1420.05 so if you 
convert it to percentage into 100 so 9708 so which is the same so I hope this calculation is helpful to you if you like this video please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel thank you for watching